Yo, what's up, YouTube? This your boy Shy Baker back with another uh, pickup review. And if you're looking in front of yourself, which you should be, uh, we're going to be reviewing the, uh, the Adidas uh, T Mac 5 that originally released. It released in November. No, it was uh, DC, uh, October the 28th, 2005, because prior to that week, the uh, Answer 9 from Reebok released. That's how I remembered it. But uh, this is a home colorway. I do not have a box with these, so don't expect me to show y'all box and shit. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the review, the specs of the shoe, and just like the overall what you guys think of it and the inspiration behind it. Starting out with the sole, of course, you got a white and black predominantly uh, sole. And as you can see, the sole was inspired. Well, the whole shoe was inspired by Samurai Santa, but as you can see, the sole actually points out some, some key points that you can see. You see the holes right here? And there's one right there, and then there's one right there. Just rubber holes, not an actual hole, you know what I'm saying? So, inspired by Samurai Soul, so was the traction of the shoe, which wasn't that great, but I hooked in an eighth grade, and I couldn't complain about the traction. There's a T-Mac logo right there, and it is in that Chinese logo. I mean, the Chinese symbol. Once it focus in, all right, you got the wood right here inserted in the middle of the shoe with his logo on it as well, which is dope in my opinion. You got that uh, Adidas right here on the uh, heel of the shoe. And like I said, these were used, but the overall condition was a 9.2 in my opinion. And uh, that's why you also see some wear on the sole of the shoe. Coming up to the uh, to the midsole, of course, you got a white midsole with a white clip right here. You got the strap right here, which I will undo the strap for you guys. Uh, you got the one right here, which is the first one that was introduced on the shoe. Of course, for one second, let's bounce back to these right here. You do have the one right here, but as you can see, the one without the circle, the one is, is just totally different, you know what I'm saying? So this was the first shoe that actually, you know, had T-Max, his, his perspective on it, you know, shit from like from his life, some stuff that he actually looked forward to seeing on the shoe. So you got a white university, uh, one red right here with this heel, uh, with this midsole or the front of the shoe part right here. And once the folks in, I'll give you a peep of that red on that uh, one. You got T-Mac right here. Still in the perfect condition. You got the uh, leather strap right here. And forgot to tell you, the shoe is all leather. Open up the strap. You just got the cushion parts under here. Give you a peep of that. These are replacement laces. The uh, guy sent me some like synthetic laces. I didn't really like them. So I stopped it in Hibbit Sports and picked these up. Actually, I picked them up at Walmart because, <clears throat> excuse me, Hibbit Sports did not have these rope, uh, these flat laces. So once I focus in, I'll give you a peep of that. You got Adidas right here on the front of the uh, the pull tab, which you can tuck to, you can tuck the laces after you already laced them up, and it has the same soft to the touch material that we'll get into later. That's behind, that's in the inner inner sock of the shoe. Adidas logo, Adidas name and logo right there. To me. And uh, T Max uh Chinese uh symbol logo uh, name right there. Sorry about the interruption, guys. <laughs> Once it focus in. You also got these five things on, on the strap right here. They are yellow, and I guess the five will be symbolizing this is his fifth signature shoe. Coming to the back of the shoe, you got the pull tab right here that forces the entrance, and it does have a hole where your finger can go in. You got that one logo, one uh, T-Max one right there in the back. Once it focus in, I'll give you a peep of that. You got the, uh, the wood insert in the, in the heel of the shoe, and I'm not going to say this is bamboo wood, but it is wood for the most part. You got that... Uh, Touring system right there, I think that's what it says. Once it focuses in, I'll give you a peep of that. Little, little scratches on here as far as yellow and wise. I'm not tripping about that. Curve around to the side of the shoe, which is my favorite side of the shoe. You got T-Max name. And the reason I say it's my favorite because this is the first shoe that actually featured his nickname, T-Mac. And it is in University Red. Once it focuses in. There you go. You got ventilation holes right here. I'm not going to say it's for ventilation because you have that black material right there that will stop that. Which these weren't bad as far as ventilation back in the 8th grade, you know. Even though I didn't know all the specs on the shoes back then. You got Eddie Prime Plus right here on the side of the uh, sole. And once it focus in, I'll give you a peep of that. Uh, I guess it's not going to focus in. Oh, well. You got T-Max name right here on the front of this hip cup. On the front of this uh this black uh panel bar right here. T-Max, there it is. Uh... And inside of the uh, inside of the shoe, you got the size to let you know these are authentic. These are not uh, replicas or anything like that. Size 10, a production date as well. I'll pull out this uh, the footbed just to show y'all the uh, 
the samurai sandal that it was inspired by. You know, you had the, where you would place your toes and your, your arch of your foot as well as the, the heel of your foot. And then those same hold, same traction things that's on the bottom of the shoe, as you can see, are on this as well. And uh, inside of the shoe, just got the, the added premium plus technology, as you can see. The sock liner is is a contrast color between black on this side of the shoe and white on the other way on the other part, which sucked because it kind of got dirty once you hooped it on a lot. But it is what it is. That's the only thing I really hate about this shoe. I'll put that in there later. Just gonna give y'all a slow, so detailed look at, at this one, you know, and uh, that y'all just captured the essence of the shoe. Give y'all a quick 360 review. There's that one right there I was telling you guys about earlier. There's that T-Mac name right here on this as well. That T-Mac uh, Chinese symbol logo right there, which is double my opinion. Curving to the back of the shoe, you got that one. You also got this like synthetic material behind this right here. Coming on down, you got that one for you in a uni university red. You got that bamboo wood in the back of the heel. Does have a few minor, minor scuffs on it, but like I said, the condition of the shoe, I'm not really tripping about. You got T-Mac University Red right there, lined up perfectly. Uh, front of the shoe, leather on the toe box. As you can see, no creases. And I'll swing you back to the other pair. No creases, maybe a slight crease right there, and I wouldn't even consider that a crease. But when I do start wearing these, there will be creases. Uh, inner portion of the shoe, Got that white sock line I was telling you guys about. White back here and black on the side. Forgot to mention on the uh, on the footbed you do have T-Max uh, signature, which is the same signature that is on this part of the shoe right here. Even though it's upside down. <laughs> but uh, that right there, man, about wraps up my video. I just want to give y'all people my last pickup I got. Man, I was extremely happy about winning these on eBay. Shout out to my boy. I can't think of the dude's name. Uh, I wish I kept the box, but I got it folded up and stored away because I'm going to probably use it to sell some or whenever I do sell a ship or something out. But I uh, just wanted to get this video out to y'all. For all you T-Mac fans out there, those diehard fans like me, you see the T-Mac right there on the wall. You see that, you know what I'm saying? So that lets you know where I stand as a T-Mac fan, a diehard fan. I hope they do eventually retro these. I'm still looking for the black and university red colorway. So if you guys do have them out there and you got them in a 9.5 or a 10, Nine and a half to ten and a half. Let me know on the condition. I will scoop those. Price, throw some at me. Not nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? But some reasonable. But like I said, I ain't gonna hold y'all up no more. Shouts out to my little cousin for helping me uh put this video together because she was holding the camera for up, you know what I'm saying? Just want to get some great angles of this uh of this video for you guys out there. But uh, other than that, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday. Get ready for the work week and uh God is love. Peace.